We are on Snake Road in southwest Illinois. <laughs> Sound like you're know? painting happy little trees <laughs> right now. <laughs> Good morning guys, so I had an amazing adventure in Peru and Australia, but right now I'm back in the good old US of A just in time for spring and I'm down here in southern Illinois at a place aptly named Snake Road. So I'm here with Sheena. Hey Dave. Joe. Hello. Katie. Yeah. And Max. <laughs> <laughs> There's a number of reasons why Snake Road is awesome, but of course the number one reason is because there are lots of snakes here. This is a venomous cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. You, you gonna leave now? I'm right in the middle of my thing, you're gonna leave? So the snakes are hibernating in these limestone bluffs like this, and in the spring they come out of the bluffs, they go down into the wetlands and down into the forests where they spend the summer, and then in the fall that migration happens again where they come out of the wetlands and out of the forests, come right back up to the cliffs where they hibernated the year before. And so the road lies at the base of these bluffs, and it's in between the bluffs where they were wintering and the wetlands and the forest where they're gonna go summer. So in the spring and the fall, all you need to do is walk up this road and you will see more snakes than whatever euphemism for a lot of snakes that you can think of, because I can't right now. Another reason why this place is so amazing is because you have a place where the northern hardwood forests meets the cypress wetlands of the south. You know, Chicago is three hours or so to the north of here, and I bet there's plenty of people in Chicago that don't realize that right in their own state, it looks like South Florida. So what that means is that when you have two different types of very rich habitats that come together in a very specific area like this, all the animal species congregate to those areas to take advantage of everything that both habitats have to offer. It's like a, a perfect storm of convergence of two ecosystems and the animals that use those ecosystems. This, this is sign language for the perfect storm of ecological convergence. Snake Road, in Southwest Illinois. Sound like you're painting happy little trees right now. <laughs> I am. So I have just caught myself a black rat snake. These snakes, oh, I have such a soft spot in my heart for these snakes because when I started keeping snakes years and years ago, a black rat snake was one of the first ones that I had. I had a normal one like this, and I had an albino one and I bred them and the female that I had looked just like this and her name was Nikesa. And man, did I love that snake. As you can see, he has a very uniform black coloration to him, but when they're babies, they have a very light colored background with dark saddles down their back. And as they grow, they turn into the solid black snake that you see here. And as you can see, he's totally chill like most snakes are. He's not trying to bite me, he's not aggressive. He's just a really cool snake.
that was three miles down the road, three miles back. I forgot all of my liquid, all of my water in the car. It's now probably boiling hot, but it's still gonna be liquid, so I'm still gonna drink it. But the gang, I kind of lost them in when I was filming that black rat snake, but they're back here. I don't know how long they've been back here. Uh, why don't I ask them? How long have you been back here? Eight hours or so. Eight hours. What did you find on Absolutely Snake Road nothing. today? Huh? Nothing. nothing. Really? Not a one. Seriously? Some frogs. Some frogs. Yeah. Max? You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck most. You want a sandwich? I do. All right guys, so that was an amazing day on Snake Road. I just absolutely love this place since I first came here in, I think 2007 to film uh, for the original documentary that I did, Herpers, on uh, reptile fanatics. And I've just loved this place and tried to get down here once a year and I haven't, but I try. But anyway, you know, I, I try to wrap my brain around why people fear snakes and I always tell them this if you fear snakes then everything you think you know about them is wrong so anyway with that guys love the planet keep your life in balance and rattle on